from Las Vegas will be live on ESPN 3. So if you want to catch the trophy ceremony, we'll have you for have it for you over on ESPN 3. Long distance three. Levesque hits another one. Good job by Bo Levesque. That's what he does best. Knocking down these perimeter shots and for the Gales, they look ahead for next season. Without Matthew Delavadova, there's going to be some major holes to fill for Randy Bennett and his coaching staff. Tonight, it's about number one. Gonzaga perfect in the regular season in conference play. And they'll make it a perfect WCC tournament after losing in this game last year to the Gales. David Stockton and company are going to get things done here tonight. Final six seconds ticking off the clock. One last heave for the Gales. No good. And the horn's going to sound Gonzaga champions of the West Coast Conference number one team of the country and perhaps locking up a number one seed. I believe they've done all that you could ask of them. They are the number one team in the country and they deserve a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. An impressive win a dominating win against a very good St. Mary's team. The Zags controlled this one just about the entire way. And the Bulldogs 12th West Coast Conference Tournament Championship game. They secure the automatic bid. Not that that was in doubt, but 15 straight years, the Zags are going to the dance. They came to this tournament wanting to take back the tournament championship in which the Gales were able to win a year ago. That was the focus that Kelly Olynyk talked about yesterday. They came out with that focus. They executed perfectly, and they walk out of here comfortable in victory. So Gonzaga it's been a magical year 30 plus wins for the first time number one ranking for the first time will they be a number one seed for the first time ever it'll be about a week and we'll find out the Zags have a lot of basketball left to play Olenek and company with a 65 50 win for Sean Farnham Dave Fleming Sports Center next good night from Las Vegas. Oh, let's play some college hoops, shall we? St. Mary's and Gonzaga meeting in the WCC title game for the fifth straight season. They split the previous four contests. Early going, Gonzaga down one. David Stockton pushing to Gary Bell Jr. for the lay in Zags up 15-14. Uh, Seth Greenberg here with me. Uh, Coach, anytime you want to chime in, just chime in. Stockton, well, welcome. Three, Stockton knocking knocking He looks like his daddy. I'll tell you one thing. He can shoot the three, but he can really drop dimes. Yes, he is. Speaking of his daddy, there he is. Kelly Olenek. Who is your daddy? Stealing the dunk. Zags up eight. Olenek, a Wooden Award candidate. This guy can shoot the three. He's active defensively. And he's the best low post scorer in the country. And there he is again. Tough catch and finish. Zags up 11. A little later, 51-34. Stockton, nice bounce pass. And homeboy. Ooh, up. I think that's one of those sports center potential plays of the day. Just might be. A penner. Stockton, great pass. And uh, there it is. Shake hands. And... The Zags, 65 over St. Mary's, 51. All right, uh, you heard him. Now you see him, Seth Greenberg here. What did you take away from Gonzaga's win this evening? They are really good. Everyone talks about they're overrated. Have they been tested? Forget about it. They've got a legitimate front court, as good a front court as there is in the country. Kelly Olenek, his footwork, his ability to step out, knock down threes, score in the block. Elias Harris. He steps up in the first half. Olenek goes out with a foul. Elias Harris and Sam Dower, they combine for 19 points. This team is complete. What they've developed now is a mindset to get stops. Mike Hart, he's been the difference. He's been inserted in the starting lineup. He is a lockdown defender. This is a team that competes on the defensive end. They're unselfish. They share the basketball. But this is a complete basketball team. They are a legit number one seed. What you said right there, all that, that's a whole lot of good. So I'm going to ask you, how do you beat this team? I think they've struggled with big physical guards. You think about their loss to Illinois, that Brandon Paul drops 36 on him. He gets in the lane. He gets to the front of the rim. He draws and kicks. He compresses the defense. And they've struggled with Marcus Smart, Oklahoma State, another big physical guard. If they can contain the basketball, and that's where Mike Hart comes in, his ability to keep the ball in front. Here's Paul coming down, attacking him in transition attacking the basket. They are solid because they take care of the basketball. They don't commit live ball turnovers. They share the basketball. They're deep in the backcourt and their frontcourt. Not a lot of teams in the country, I don't care what conference they play in, have a frontcourt like Kelly Olenek, Elias Harris, and Sam Dower. Dropping hoops knowledge with the pocket square. My man is tight. No one's cooler than you. Oh, you know. I'll just do it. I'm going to go take it for himself. 27-21 is your score. And Pops looking on from the crowd. He's so proud. Look at that. That's my boy. Seconds later, Kelly Olenek. 
with the steal. The big man does everything. Zags up eight. To the second half, and it continues. 38-29, just score. Olenek, tough catch and finish in the paint. Inside out, he's got it all. Zags up 11. A little later, it's 51-34. Stockton, nice bounce pass to, oh, 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 Olenek. Oh, my goodness. Zags up 19 at that point. They're going to win 65-51. Kelly Olenek with Sean Farnham after the game. Kelly, you spoke yesterday at the press conference and said last year it stung watching your team fall here at the WCC Championship. What does it mean to come back here, get this done as the number one ranked team and most likely a number one seed at the NCAA tournament? You know, it's huge for us. It's huge for our program to take these kind of steps. I mean, we kind of slipped a bit last year, but it shows uh, what kind of a program we are to bounce back next year and get all this stuff done. You worked so hard in the offseason and over that redshirt year, maybe the poster child for anybody that wants to redshirt in college basketball. What did you learn most last year that has helped you this year? You know, I learned a lot about trying to control the game and manage the game from a coach's perspective and what they want. I mean, that was huge for me. And a lot of it was just trying to make my body and, uh, better so I could get where I want on the floor and do the things I wanted to do. To make a run to Atlanta. I know it's early, the selection show, seven days away. What is the key for this team to make a run to the Final Four? I mean, we just got to go out every night and play our style of basketball. I mean, we played well all year, and uh, if we stick true to ourselves, believe in ourselves, I think we got a legitimate shot. Congratulations on the win in the championship and a heck of a year. Thank you very much. Well, Gonzaga now in line to become just the 10th team to go undefeated in conference play, win the conference tournament, and receive a one seed. None of the previous nine won the national title. Among that group, some iconic teams, Larry Bird's 79 Indiana State squad, Houston's Phi Slamma Jamma Bunch, and the 91 UNLV team, which was undefeated until losing in the Final Four. Our resident Joe Lenardi is joining us now. All right, uh, Gonzaga still on your top line? No question about it, Jay. You're looking at a team that's just been dominant, particularly in the calendar year of 2013. They're an inbounds pass at Butler away from being undefeated for two and a half months. They're absolutely a one seed. They were going to be a one seed. May not be the number one overall seed. We'll see what Duke and Indiana and some others have to say about that later in the week. But here's the thing. Being one in the West is what matters for Gonzaga. One overall means nothing. They need Salt Lake City, L.A., and their best ever chance at a Final Four in this 15-year run of excellence. One overall means nothing, you said, but it would be kind of cool for them. I'm sure they would like it. So what needs to happen for that to happen? It would be great for the PR, for the school, and for the program, of course, but competitively, there isn't really an advantage. Here's the deal. Duke, if they win the ACC tournament, Indiana, if they win the Big Ten tournament, maybe Louisville, if they win in the Big East tournament, based on rankings, could eclipse the Zags. If any or all of them lose, Gonzaga's going to stay right where they are, which is the number one team in the country. There's never been a number one team in the polls that won its conference tournament that hasn't been on the top line come Selection Sunday. Oh, the bracketology is just getting started. Joe Leonardi, thank you, brother. Against the Knicks. Wow. Hey, let's go to our top plays, okay? Number 10, Baylor, Iowa State. Five seconds left. Nia Johnson just going to throw something up, and it's just going to go in, beat the buzzer. Baylor wins 75-47. Big 12 champions. Here's number nine, NIA Division II semis. Brendan Beasley. William Penn against Grace. That's Beasley for William Penn. They win. <laughs> number eight, James Madison, Northeastern. Devin Moore. Quick crossover, one fluid motion that sends the alley-oop to Andre Nation for the flush. More to come from JMU. They had a good Monday. Women's Junior College Basketball Region 6 Championship game. Ashley Torres, running jumper, double pump is good. Highland Community College advances to the NJCAA D2 National Tournament. Number six, Nuggets and Suns, Corey Brewer to JaVale McGee. <laughs> oh, my God. He had a hand in his face. More to come from this game. James Madison, Northeastern, Charles Cook. Rejection of Zach Stahl. He's got the high socks. No, are those knee pads? What are they? You do number four. I can't say dude's name. Casper's Dogovins. Thank you. An unbelievable pirouette, but took a rask up to the task. I'll do number three. Right. Nugget Suns, Ty Lawson. Yeah, I could do that, really. Very good. There's the alley-oop from half court to Kenneth Fareed. Look at this one more again. Up and in. Nuggets win 108-93.
Number two, St. Mary's Gonzaga. Listen up. The Gales are all out of sorts. What a bounce pass. Oh! I'm not even waiting to hashtag it right now. SC, top 10, Kelly Olenek putting on a clinic. And the nation's number one team. Gonzaga wins 65-51. Number one, Thunder Spurs, Kawhi Leonard doing it all. Stripping Russell Westbrook. Ooh. Gonna go behind the back and oh. transition and finish over Kendrick Perkins with left-handed. Mm. Spurs win 105-93. I like that. I thought I did like that JaVale McGee. That was good. Should have been higher. Yeah. Sports Center's top 10. Brought to you.